Despite filler and Botox, facelifts are still widely popular even today. At 53, our next guest, Carol Ann, was unhappy with her appearance, so she turned to her boss to turn back the clock. I'm Carol Ann. I am one of the registered nurses here at Como Valley Facial Plastic Surgery. And next week, I'm having a full facial rejuvenation with Dr. Karam. I'm really excited. Full facial rejuvenation is vertical restore, which is face, neck, and brow. I'm having my upper eyes and lower eyes, and also fat transfer, and a contour laser. I'm 53 years old, and when I look in the mirror, I see a lot of laxity in my neck and my jawline. I feel like my eyes look tired, and I just want to look as good on the outside as I feel on the inside. Carol Ann and board-certified facial plastic surgeon, Dr. Amir Karam, join me. Hey, guys, welcome to the show. It's been a few months since the procedure, so let's start right off by seeing the before and after. Wow. Who is that person? <laughs> <laughs> that is really nice. I got to say, that is very, very nice. So, Carol Ann, how was the healing process, and what exactly do you, I mean, I know what I like about it. What do you like about it? I was back to work at two weeks. And now I'm three months out, and um, I think he took at least 10 to 15 years off my face. And now I look as young as I feel, and I feel great. Dr. Karam, how is this facelift different than what the typical approach is? The vertical restore technique that I you know, developed is basically an extension of the uh, traditional facelift, but a real difference in, in some important ways. Number one is the traditional facelift lifts the face or pulls the face sideways. There's this sort of horizontal uh, vector that's involved in it. And that makes the face look flattened and it makes it look pulled and, you know, that whole windswept look that everyone yes. talks about. And that's not what people do when they go in front of the mirror. You, you know, I think most of the audience who are in that aging phase can relate to this. When they go in there, they're lifting their face kind of more in this vertical direction. And when they do that, they see themselves come through. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. About the market. Panic about COVID. And how Panic do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I could change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.